Mm. How did I know Sadiq? Mm. Well, in two ways, she was Meera's, um, I'm not sure if the classmates, but they were at Kinnaird uh, at the same time. And then Meera left Kinnaird um, to do her A-levels and then later went to NCA, didn't go back to Kinnaird. But they, they, they had connected, they were friends. And then, of course, my major introduction to her came through Zaheer Kidwai, because Zaheer absolutely doted on her and said that she's a brilliant person and I have to introduce to you, her to you because we are embarking on doing this project, which was a CD-ROM on Fares Ahmed Fares. And he said, you know, Sabine is going to be collecting all the data. So Jahara was the other person behind working on the CD-ROM on the technical side. So we met up quite often because of that. Um, because she was collecting a lot of material, uh, which was not really out there in the public domain. And she was very, um, how should I say, she was very purposeful. Once she had decided she was going to do something, she would, she just went. In. So Shua Vashvi used to say, look, I said, and then she used to say, you can give a grin and say, ha, main aage. and then, you know, they'd be collecting stuff together and then she recorded him. Um, for the CD-ROM and um, so and you know she had a passion for uh, doing this project and as he said you know she did so much of the legwork for it collecting things today those things are now very much in the public domain but that time very little was what had been archived or put together it was in bits and pieces all over the place and she had the knack of putting things together so she would do that and um, extremely, how should I say, sensitively affectionate. So you never felt um, any kind of unease or discomfort, even when she was, um, you know, would ask you something personal or would want to know something that was not yet in the public domain. Um, she would do it in a way that you never, ever misconstrued her intent. Mm -hmm. It was always very pure. Mm -hmm. And um, she was generally good humored, you know. So you did not expect ever for, um, how should I put it, a mantle of seriousness. Mm -hmm. You know, and that is very much the way that we operate. Mm -hmm. You know, myself and Shweb, and in fact, Meera also. Maybe mm -hmm. um, Shweb used to always say, yeah, I don't believe in intelligence. Oh, she so -so is very intelligent. Nay, nee, that's stupidity that's gone to college. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> humanity is a real thing. So, um, I think that that is one of the things that was with Sabine that. So she was a problem solver. Mm -hmm. And because she was a problem solver, there was always you know, a joke mm -hmm. which helped you. Because humor is the best subversion mm -hmm. you know, of a serious situation. Then, of course, uh, Zaheer put her name forward when the South Asia Foundation came about because he thought that she would be the best person to be the secretary. And since the, uh, most of the people, I was the only person in Lahore, most of the people who were in that group that was being set up for the South Asia Foundation were in Karachi. Sabine, with her efficiency, seemed to be the, the person uh, whose name was, and she did it with great dedication and wonder. The other thing, of course, was T2F, which was her very much her baby, and it came about that because Zaheer believed in it um, with equal passion. So consequently, it came about first, you know, just as a space, then was a space with an intent space, which was you could have coffee, a space where you could look at artwork, space where there could be books, space where there could be discussion. First, it was informal, like was, you know, you sit around a cup of coffee and you have a chat and that would be it. Um, but then the chats became more meaningful and then the chats were 
expanded to become talks. And um, I remember about the first time I had gone there when it was still in the early stages when she was determined to bring, you know, art and literature and talk together. So she was putting stuff up on the walls and, you know, getting, um, well, I suppose they were donations in a sense, 18 young people say, okay, put something, we can put this up here, we can put that up there, making it a congenial place visually, mm-hmm. apart from the fact that you would have a good coffee. Um, and with an intuition in which she could figure out that if you had a certain kind of an atmosphere, uh, people would be forthcoming, uh, which is not always easy because people are on their guard. We have learned to be on our guard after, you know, decades of censorship and self-censorship and being tense um, in public places. And that is something that I think her, her personality, together with Zahir's personality, of course, helped to alter. Um, Once she had started um, with a space which invited people, then of course she said, of course you have to come and talk about such a And which is what I did, you know, sent the uh, whatever we had in terms of the early uh, programs, showing them, talking to an audience about them, a very engaged audience. Mm -hmm. Um, I had not been many times to T2F during, you know, when when an event was going on. This was almost my first experience of being, you know, the main focus of that event. And um, I loved the audience. I loved the audience because I felt um, the atmosphere made them feel like family. So that to me was, is, it's, it's a special kind of, um, gift, I think, that certain people have, that they can, you know, as I've said earlier, you know, make sure that you are not on guard, uh, that you are otherwise. So that was something that um, was extremely relaxing, um, adding to one's experience. Uh, It also looked around and you found that there were people who thought like you or you would like to know more about them and some of course were old friends so it was a it was a kind of a crossroads place uh, which was which was very rare in Karachi. I had was never never lived in Karachi Um, whenever I visited I found that you know there were pockets which were there in the 60s that had entirely disappeared by the 80s, um, in which there could be spaces which were there in tea shops and coffee shops, you know, in the 50s and 60s. And this began to be the kind of place that was there in my memory. Lahore always had much more of that. That has disappeared to a great extent also. Um, But I think her, her baby, which D2F became and it suddenly became larger and larger and larger from that small coffee shop that I first went to, um, you know, expanding. Um, That was entirely her doing. And I think the fact that it began as an office space, uh, which was doing work, of course, that she was engaged in, but which was um, uh, Zach's Emilian. Uh, became something entirely different uh, in terms of its activity, what the nature of the activity over there, from being, you know, communication studio and um, something that had to do with this whole new world of the internet, communications, international communications, um, the, all the things that I was at least utterly unfamiliar with. Um, it became the kind of human face to all of that. Uh, and that to me, who was still used to the human face rather than um, the, the cyber space, mm. that to me was one of the most thing, most valuable that she did. Mm. I don't have to, I think, go into what she did for other people. 
because that's very well documented. Um, but I will say that whenever she came to Lahore, um, it was it was like she was, you know, bringing something else beside herself. She was bringing her humanity. She was bringing her joy of living, and um, got those layers. You know, of course, she used to love to see me die. She used to chat for ages and, and share. Um, they, and then, of course, there was the South Asia Foundation anger. So it was wonderful when um, Manjit Singh invited her and her mother to join us all in um, Villa Surya in France. Basically, there would be a meeting, which was of the South Asia Foundation. So her being the secretary, um, she was part of it. Usme sach puche to bahana hota tha. Koi aisi bahut serious baat nahi ho rahi hoti thi. Bahana hota tha mil baithne ka. And that was what Madanjit founded. Of course, there were list of, you know, agenda items. Usme falana jo hai, jo hai institution, uska kya hai, uski report hai, kya hai. That kind of things. Every institution that was getting scholarship would give the report. Every chapter would give its report. Mm. But basically it was not more than that. Mm. So it was a getting together of people from all these places in South Asia together with the secretaries. I will say that Madanjit reached out specially to people who were the secretaries in these places. Mm. Or they were all people, you know, like Sabine, mm. who were not, like you would say, highly qualified to do this kind of administrative work at all. Mm. They were just people who we picked up, who were already, you know, in some way connected either to um, the person who was the chair, mm. um, or, you know, with Swinika from Sri Lanka, um, she worked for Chandra Naika uh, Kumar Chandra, and that's it. Oh, at that time, I think, no, I think it was, uh, Lakshman Kadir Kumar, who was actually assassinated. He was a Tamil uh, leader, mm. cabinet member in uh, Sri Lanka. Mm. So she was, she used to be his secretary, so she just came. So there was, you know, it was people who uh, would be doing the important work, like just jotting down and so on and so forth. Mm. Or it was not much more. we used to enjoy ourselves, mm. you know. So go out for a walk, which take us to the best restaurants, mm. you know or Bhumaya, Puraya, Thikya Khuda Afis, you know. But um, it was, it was a joy of friendship, really. Mm -hmm. Because there again, you know, I saw what, what pleasure she took in, um, in giving her mother this experience. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of, um, a lot of Sabine's um, caring had to do with the fact that there was this home in which there were these ladies mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, her mother who cared passionately about education. Mm -hmm. Sabine took it to a different level with a totally different aspect of education, which is making people better human beings. Mm -hmm. um, so for me to see them together there was really... It was just touching, um, but it was also extremely lively. And I was thrilled um, because Sabine was, you know, on top of the world. And I can say so warmed by the joy that she was taking in taking her mother around, you know. Um, I thank, really from the bottom of my heart, I thank Madanjit Singh for his generosity, for his absolute generosity. Um, because he wanted people who were connected with his vision of peace in South Asia, put his money where his mouth was, you know, and which was to invite people to this, you know, glorious space in the south of France, where you had this lovely villa and mm -hmm. you know and if there was not enough room in the villa he'd 
take hotel rooms just nearby within walking distance and um, where you partook of his you know his generosity in the food and it was now that I think of it, it was like a dream really you know um, but we were part of it so that was where you know Sabine got the chance to meet people like Indra Gujral or the leaders of South Asia who were all Madhinjit's friends and invitees and you have the feeling okay this is one big family and it didn't matter whether somebody was from Bhutan or somebody was from Nepal or wherever. Uh, you had so much in common. And it was practical, it was not theoretical. You know, it makes a difference. Maybe you sab ek mez ke upar baith ke khana kha rahe ho, aur khas rahe ho, aur somebody is telling you something, some anecdote, something. Um, and Sabine held her own in that, na? To usse bada farak padta hai. Usko aap kuch samaj aati hai ki bhi, the the differences don't matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's very difficult to contain a person like her in, in words because a lot of it has to do with with, with something far more abstract than words. Um, it has to do with you know the knowledge that this is a rare person, uh, gifted in many different ways. Um, and was able to touch so many different people's lives. Um, the fact that that said person becomes a threat is, of course, a story as, as long as history itself. She's not the first person to have, um, whose life has been cut short uh, because they are in certain ways too good uh, to be around. So you are lucky that you had that um, time um, when she did make a difference, when she taught you something, when she made you smile, when she um, shared a part of herself with you. I think it's it's important now certainly to celebrate Sabi. The grief has been there, of course, for everybody. And um, uh, I know that Mira, my daughter, grieved terribly for her. And so did all her friends. I can't even begin to think about her family. Um, but I think the time has come to really, really celebrate mm. and to look beyond um, the grief and sort of say, okay, so what do we do that carries on? Mm. Um, I was really um, sad when um, Samin's mom couldn't, you know, couldn't find um, so much of what she had done for South Asia Foundation. She couldn't find it on her computer, which, you know, was was very difficult for me to accept because I thought I would find the whole history of how she had worked for South Asia Foundation. But that was lost for some reason. You couldn't find it in her, in her room or in her office or wherever. And I feel that that is a chapter that we should find and South Asia Foundation's history should have a chapter which is to do with Sabine Mehmet. But she contributed to the flourishing of that chapter in Pakistan. She worked hard for it and many people benefited. The people who benefited were people who managed to go use the scholarships to go abroad, the people who came from other countries and studied at BNU. Mm -hmm. So I feel that that is a half-written chapter. Mm -hmm. And if ever that uh, data is discovered or found or whatever, it would be wonderful to put it into uh, its context and put it into South Asia Foundation's uh, history. she was a person who didn't believe in borders, uh, like South Asia Foundation. So consequently, I think erasing borders is a very important part of my philosophy, Sabine's philosophy, and philosophy of all our friends who truly believe that you know um, we are human beings first. South Asia is immensely rich and deserves to be a region rather than a couple of warring states. So which take away from our humanity and our potential. 
So, and she had a, she had a knack for joining people from you know, all the different countries. And South Asia Foundation gave her the opportunity to do that because you know she could correspond with people and she could find out more about them and so on and so forth. Um, what else can I say about Sabine? I'm an old lady now, so you know, anecdotes come and go, they come in in a flash and then they disappear. But um, I, I just remember her coming and sitting in the drawing room with me and with Shweb and just podding us and pushing us to remember things to do with my father. And um, Shweb joking with her and telling her, you know, you're driving us nuts. And uh, for her to just totally ignoring that. And consequently, if you are with Aina Chimi Hala, if you are with Aina Chimi Hala, Manika means Sarakus to Batadia to me, me or with Aina Chimi Hala. And that was, you know, that is a kind of signal that she had for sort of worming things out of you. I don't think that this was for the CD ROM, by the way, you know, both the Orchis theme, it was much more formal and so on. This was really to, to find out for herself, you know that somebody who she admired and loved, who was my father, how could she make him personal? Mm. And therefore it was this, you know, tell me more, tell me more. Mm. And uh, so, mm. no, but if you think of something. Yeah. So it was always, you know, Sabine coming, dumping herself in the drawing room <laughs> and saying, yeah, chum, you know, but I. Mm. and uh, she was always, um, how should I say, passionately, because she was passionately interested in children and education also, which came, I think, from her mother. So she would sometimes, you know, prod me also, and I used to tell them about things, well, things that I have learned about uh, education and so on, those about things. She was always, you know, noting and making, um, well, I, I think very insightful remarks about it. Um, I think there have been times when I've thought, you know, so-and-so event should really happen at T2F. Mm -hmm. Or I wonder if such a thing could be arranged and the person you think about is Sabine, mm -hmm. you know? So it is how she became a vehicle mm -hmm. for certain things to happen. Mm -hmm. And um, okay, somebody said to me, Kibi, uh, I want to do this, I want to show that. And I would weigh that very carefully because I also knew that, you know, if I ask Sabine to do something, it'll happen. Mm -hmm. And so I was cautious. You know, it's not worthy of a notice or something. Um, because uh, there are lots of people who like attention, mm -hmm. you know. So, and I knew that she had a very strong intuitive uh, um, you know feel for things that were very genuine and she could do that um, consequently you know I also felt that prize you know the, the award that you get um, the one who that's in um, Klaus, the Prince Klaus award. They asked me, you know, because that, uh, I mean, I was at that time one of the people that they used to refer to, not anymore. Whether it could be carried on. And I said, well, I think that it can. Um, a force like that, which is Sabine Mahmood, I'm sure it can um, carry on um, on its strength, well-earned strength, and the work will continue. Um, so I think that she herself, her moral compass was very strong and for me, many sleek because the fire shows because I felt that you know her own moral compass is strong enough. 
कभी मैंने कहा क्या मैं हमेशा ही कहती थी आप ले जाए ना उनके पास नेवर कॉल्ड हर अबाउट एनी थिंग उसने जब मुझे कहा कि हम सच कब का करना चाहते हैं मैंने कहा बिल्कुल करेंगे यू नो सो इट वॉज अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट शी इज द पर्सन हु विल मेक द डिसीजन ऑन दैट और ये नहीं होगा कि कोई कह के भी अच्छा ही कर लो क्योंकि मैं यू नो दैट शी रिस्पेक्ट्स मी और आई हैव अ प्लेस यू नो इन हर एस्टिमेशन सो आई थिंक शी हैड शी वॉज सो मच मोर ग्रोन अप दैन हर ईयर्स यू नो सो मच मोर मच जॉब दैन हर ईयर्स एंड सो दे फॉर शी डिट नीड एनी काइंड ऑफ सिफारिश फ्रॉम एनी बॉडी 